Hi right guys, Mark Crossfield here. Um, I've got 170 yards to one of the most dramatic car threes I've ever seen. It's beautiful. And I'm going to talk to you about a draw and a fade. So when I might choose and how I would play my fade shot into a green or a draw shot into a green. It's based around what I'm feeling. So take from it what you will. There'll be some facts in there as well, but it'll be much more about what I feel to produce those two shots. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so it's 170 so yards to the flag. Uh, the pin's on a little bit of a kind of pimple actually. It's a tough pin to get close to. Wind is slightly off the left. So I've got a six iron and a five iron. Now, if I was to starting to hit this shot, let's say I was gonna draw this one in there. Now my draw shot at the moment is pretty much my standard shot. So I would play it without thinking about it. And what I would do is I would aim at the flag and I would draw it just off the flag and maybe the wind will just hold it up and if it doesn't, I'm missing on the left. And the main reason I'm doing that is because I do not want to miss this green on the right. The pin is back right. So I'm using my shape in amongst the situation to decide where I'm hitting this shot. If you were to put this pin on the left, I'd be aiming in the middle of the green, draw it in and against that wind to the flag. And if I hit it straight, I just hit the middle of the green. So I'm gonna aim straight, dead aim at the flag and draw it just off the flag, which is my natural shot, not having to do anything. Um, and just let the wind hold it up, hopefully. So let's give this one a go. Just drawing just slightly left of the flag. I'll take that one, middle of the green. So I'm gonna to go to my fade now. I'm gonna work with the wind, aiming kind of at the bunker on the left and moving it off. Now I've gone up to a five iron because from my testing when I hit my fade shot compared to my draw shot it does come up a fraction shorter. Now that's quite a common belief that all fades are shorter than draws that's not the case. I, I've got some students who fade it further than they draw it. It's more to do with the delivery numbers you produce rather than the spin axis that you put on the ball. So I'm going to fade it and from my data yes my fade does go a little less than my draw. So what I'm going to do I'm going to aim my club face up the left so I'm going to point my club face up the left, aiming it at the bunker or right side of that kind of right hand bunker, which is middle of the green. I'm then going to set my feet up, feeling slightly left of that. And the biggest thing I'm going to do as I hit this shot is I'm going to feel as I deliver that I'm really holding that handle forwards of that club. So I feel like I'm really dragging the handle through, not letting that club head overtake me at all. So it almost feels similar to how I would play my pitch shot. I'm not particularly trying to swing massively across the ball anything like that i'm going to move my path slightly left by me feeling like i'm holding the handle forward and just slightly exiting a fraction less you almost feel like i'm just pulling across the ball the tiniest amount down through it when i hit the ball not particularly changing my backswing or anything let's give it a go it's more the longer club is the biggest thing in there slightly different aim pattern because it's going to be a different shape and a fractionally different impact feeling. Keep moving. Oh, a bit more. Oh, I'll take that one front middle. Didn't quite get all of the ball. The fade is not my friendliest shot at the moment. So I would only choose this shot if I was feeling really confident or the hole absolutely dictated it. Otherwise, I'd always use my stock standard shot. There you go, guys. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. I draw it naturally, so if you're looking for videos on how to draw it, obviously I've got videos on that, there's loads of suggestions. It's more around the ideas around my draw, and then the ideas I use on the course around my fade to try and play this game. Post comments, as always, down below. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram, at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter, at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching, post comments as always, and see you soon.